Good day, Doc Craig. I am Diane Rodriguez, your student in Ed 302G, um, 532 830 p.m. Monday. So, this is my output for writing prompts. So, in narrative, according to Kite Estad, a narrative essay, you tell a story often about personal experience, but you also make a point. So the purpose is not only to tell entertaining tale, but also to expound on the importance of the experience. So this is my example for the narrative writing. So think of something memorable experience or thing that had happened in your childhood. It could be either an experience from your family, friends, or an experience from a place that you have been visited. Write an essay that tells what happened and be sure to give a specific details. Why is that experience or thing mem memorable to you so everyone from the class can understand? Then the next one, we have the imaginative writing. According to Sa Street in 2020, an imaginative essay or writing is an essay which tends to discuss anything from space travel to fantasy land. It is basically an essay based on fiction where you are required to put imaginary skills or thoughts in a logical order. Your imaginations will be decide the depth of your essay. It is completely dependent on your creative, creative ability and knock on bringing it in writing. So this is my example for the imaginative writing. Imagine, one day you woke up and found out that you were your favorite superhero. What do you think would your life be like? What responsibilities would you probably take from being a superhero? Write a story that you could probably present to the class that tells about what happens when you become a superhero. Be sure to give a specific details about what your life would be when you become a superhero. The third one, we have the expository writing. According to Jack Cofield in 2020, the purpose of expository writing is to convey information to the reader. In everyday life, Many types of writing that you encounter are expository in nature. This includes articles found in newspaper, magazines, social media, social media sites, and mailing lists, as well as academic articles, textbooks, business communication, and much more. I have here an example for expository writing. So everyone has their role model or someone that inspires them to keep going. Think of someone that you have admired or look up to. Write an essay that explains why, the, why you have admired and look up to them. Be sure to explain clearly and precisely so that everyone from the class can understand. And we have the last one, which is the persuasive writing. According to Leslie Voss in 2019, a persuasive essay is a type of academic writing in which you use logic and arguments to convince readers of your positions using solid evidence such as research, facts, examples, and expert quotes. I have here an example for persuasive writing. Suppose students have 40 minutes to discuss within your group about bullying inside a classroom. To spread awareness, I want you to explain one reason why bullying should or need to stop. Write an essay that proves your claim was right. Explain to roughly why your idea is one of the reasons why bullying should stop. Give reasons that supports your claim. And that ends my presentation. Thank you so much for listening.